Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here high above the pool in Framingham, Massachusetts at the illustrious Keefe Tech Vocational School, Regional Tech Technical School. We're here with the Hopkinton Hillers are competing in the diving and swimming meet against the Medfield High School team. We're gonna start off with a unique situation here. We're gonna start with diving first and competing for Hopkinton is Alyssa Annenberg, no relation to Nic Nic Nicole Annenberg. Reese Donahue and Aaron Howe of the Howe family. And I'm here with Lynn Annenberg, no relation other than by marriage. <laughs> and Reese is going to start off, Lynn. Reese is the top diver in the state, so we expect big things from him this year. And he's not going to start off. That was quick. <laughs> he gets a mulligan. Midfield is starting. Did a dive. I'm not entirely sure what the quality of the dive was. Four and a half, five, five on her scores. And the scores go from one to ten, five being the average, ten being outstanding or perfect, and one being a dive that you don't meet the skill set. Popped nice. it off. I'm First looking at seven and a half, eight. Eight and a half, eight, seven for Reese. Good Looks job, like Reese. we still have the Russian judge. A little bit. Alyssa Annenberg's coming off a 275.4 performance. Three and a half. Point two two five. Four for Medfield. On the board is Lissy Man Annenberg. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, she's looking at sixes. Let's see. Six and a half, six, five for Lissy Annenberg, first dive. Good start. Walk away. Five and a half, five, five and a half for Medfield. On the deck, on the board is Aaron Howe, a senior and captain. Six and a half, five and a half, six for Aaron's first dive. Good start. Oh, a little over rotation as they call it. Four, five and a half, four and a half. Four and a half. Fort Medfield. the flips and I'm looking at seven and a half. Seven, wow. six and a half and eight for race that for Eastern, Hopkinton. That Eastern European judge gave it yes. eight. Again, another capacity crowd. I'm 
looking at four and a half. Four, four, five and a half. Next field. Not really sure how they quantify it, quantify it but. This is the hardest dive she'll do all year long. She twists and turns, I'm looking at fives and halves across the board. Five and a half, six, five. Five and a half, six, five for Lissy Annenberg. That's a tough Junior dive for Hockington. Five, four and a half, five for Medfield. Here comes Aaron Dive, Aaron Howe, second dive. Two point three in difficulty, which is a higher dive. Mm, there's a little bit all over the map on that one. Five, four and a half, a little four, little over four that, for Aaron Howell. Still a good Howell. effort on, by H.L. or A.L. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six, six and a half, six for Medfield. Now Reese. Two point three in difficulty for this one. Six, six and a half, four for Reese for Hopkinton. Looks like the judges are all over the map tonight, Miss Annenberg. I agree with you there. I see a couple of alumni in the stands. Who do you say? I see some UC UMass uh, in students. Like who? Jenna Thine, Taylor O'Dell. And another regional state university, Cleo Smith. Three and a half bingo across the board for Medfield. Now Lissy Annenberg. 2.3 difficulty. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. That was a nice dive. Let's see if, she, see if they register on the Richter scale. Six and a half, seven, eight for Lissy Annenberg for Hopkinton. Five and a half, five and a half, seven and a half for Medfield. Pretty solid. Sixes across the board. Seven, seven, seven and a half. Seven, seven, seven and a half for Aaron Howe. I guess my Hopkinson. judging skills were a little limited there. <laughs> I don't think you could uh, be sure of anything tonight. We're in a new year, 2016.
Five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half for midfield. Six, six and a half, seven tonight for Reese. <coughs> I think the expectations from the Hopkinton divers are a little greater than the Medfield divers just based on their quality of dives and the degree of difficulty. I think I agree with you there. Thank you. Five and a half, five and a half, six and a half for Medfield. Lucy Annenberg on the board. 2.3 difficulty. Oh, nice. She, she, did, she did it nice. Six is across the board. Seven bingo for Lissy Annenberg, Jr. and Hopkinson. Midfield on the board. <coughs> One point seven difficulty. Excuse me, I'm fighting a cold. My wife refuses to make me chicken soup. <laughs> Close. We almost had a first aid alert. Five, six and a half, six and a half. Five, six and a half, six and a half. I think they're a little generous to midfield tonight. It's okay. <laughs> Captain Lydia Franklin, parents and grandparents are in the house. Oh, yeah. Sitting all shoulder to shoulder. All the way, all the way from the Granite State. A little short on that one. Five and a half, five, five and a half. Five and a half, five, five and a half to Aaron Howe. Aaron Howe, he might get most MIP, most improved player. I think he's a ladies' man. Look at him. Six, five and a half, four and a half for midfield. Reese on the board. This number five time. Where he points his toes. Six and a half, seven, seven and a half for Reese Hopkinson. I think we're in dive five. And if Hockington takes one, two, and three, it'll be a nice little take home. They'll get six, four, and three. They'll be up 13, nothing. Five, four and a half, five and a half. Something like that. All right, this is the one she's supposed to take home. She's supposed to get eight. Ooh, nice. That's pretty nice. solid. Nine bingo, we see. Woohoo! Nine bingo. Joker, Joker, Joker. Good job, Lizzie Lou. 
That's a daily number. Five and a half, five, five and a half for midfield. Here comes Aaron Howe. And the reason why they bring that back, that turnstile, it's for tension purposes, so you get a better bounce, as you will notice. Ooh, nice job, Aaron Howe. Yeah. Six and a half, six and a half, eight. Good job, Aaron Howe. Where's he going off to school, Russ? He's going to the NADSCAC, Wheaton College in the great city of Norton, Massachusetts. Ooh. A little short. Where the ratio of girls to boys are, four to Bingo. one. Four across the board. Here comes Reese. Last dive of the evening for each individual. They got to take home their best score. That's the goal of the evening. Seven, seven and a half, seven and a half for Reese Donahue, senior in Hopkinton. Nice, clean dive. Six, five and a half, seven from Medfield. On the board is Lissy in the back. Two point two. This is one of her tougher dives. She can't. She can't move to the left or right on this one. She's got to go straight on and stay away from the board. Oh, she got Ooh, it. Nice job. She hit it. Seven, six and a half, six and a half for Lissy Annenberg. Good final dive. Five and a half, five and a half, six and a half for Medfield. Aaron Howe's last dive. 1.5 difficulty for Aaron. He's got to knock this out of the park. He's getting videos by both mother and father for review techniques later. <laughs> Ooh, nice job. A little over rotation. I, I give him a six. Six and a wow. half, seven and a half. Eight. Boy, was I off cue on that one. Put a fork in me. That concludes the diving portion. Now they'll go into swimming. And we'll be back shortly. The, the medley relay, lane two, young, Sam, San, Olivia, lane four, Emily, Sam, Sam, Austin. Lane six, Julia, Justin, Rachel, and Aaron Howe. He's making a double duty again tonight. 200 medley read, they start off with the back. 50 yards of the pool, 25 each way. Oh, no, midfield's out with the lead. No pun intended but, with the way. But Hopkinton's got second, second and third place so far, okay? Nice flip turns. Oh, look at midfield, just pulled way ahead on that turn. But, Lane four, second place for Hopkinton. Who's that? 
is. Second place for Hopkinton is. Oh, Emily Way. Emily Way. Good job. Good job, Emily Way. And then they go to the breast. And butterfly, so. Butterfly, and then they end with the free. <coughs> so second place for Hopkinton is Sam Richardson. And for lane two is Sam Cody. Doing breaststroke. Any relation to Catherine Cody? Yep. Younger version? I think they live in the same house. And lane six is, is right behind. And the next is the butterfly. Again, if Hockington can get two and three, I think Coach King will be quite happy with that because the individual for Medfield came out of the blocks like he was he was shooting a 50. Oh, Hopkinton's 50 coming gun. up, coming up. Let's go, lane four. I can't see who it is because Dave Franklin has my notes. But they're going to close it out. Oh, with there mail, they go, so Hopkinton. Let's gonna, go. I don't think it's going to matter then. Who is that? Lane four for Hopkinton is Austin Schofield doing a 50. Let's see if he can catch up to Medfield. No, Medfield got him on the flip turn. That's okay. We'll take two and, and three. And then Olivia Handerhan is in lane two, closing it out. I think she'll get place three. So Hopkins get. Okay, Medfield came in. Hopkinton number two. That's Austin Schofield and Olivia Handerhan. Here she comes, lane two. And now they're going to fight it out for fourth place. Medfield came in next. And six, lane six was, who was that lane six? Aaron Howe. Aaron Howe, the diver. Good job, Aaron Howe. And we completed the first round of the 200 medley, and we're going to go to the uh, timed but unscored second round with Kelly Burke in lane two, Kaylee Kahane in lane four, and Peyton Salyards in lane six with Leah, Connor, and Jack taking up the reins in two. Shane, Kylie, and Julia taking up the lane four. And Ashley, Colin, Thine, and Emily Trudeau. No relation to the, to the Prime Minister of Canada, Trudeau family. Thanks. And in lane two, Kelly Burke, Leah Yenawine, Connor, Murchie, Jack Brennan, Shane Horseman, Kylie Salyards, and Julia Altman. As people come matriculating in, it looks like a very capacity crowd. Attendance is always good coming in the new year. People seem like they've been fed well over the Christmas break. The first day of school back, it was quite frigid out. I ask everybody to be careful in the morning. It's going to be really cold. Kids did not want to get up this morning, did they, honey? There was an Arctic wind. No, yeah, the nobody kids. wanted to go back to school today in nope. 2016. It was not a fun day at Monday at the school. And I've heard the teachers, teachers have already loaded them up with a lot of homework and tests. So we're back to business again. Here they go. In the water. And up they go. And this is just, again, to give the kids some experience, catch the eye of Coach King, and to do their best times. Times are important when you're doing relays. It's a, it's a unified effort with the four different strokes. You try to maximize your potential, give it all 50 yards, and once you're done, you're done. Okay, here we go. Medfield and Hopkinton are fighting it out. Lane four is Kathy Kenawine. Funny it out, Hopkinton's in the lead, and they go. Here goes Shane, doing the breaststroke. She's keeping the lead. Hopkinton. Here they go. Let's go, Shane. I didn't read it. Medfield. She's pulling up. Shane's in the lead right now. Medfield's fighting it out. Nope, oh, here comes Hopkinton, lane six. Who do we have? Lane six is Ashley. 
And they're in the water. Let's see. We have Kylie Salyards, Connor Murchie, and Colin Thine in four, two, and six, respectively. Colin Thine's a freshman, but look at him this year. He's He's definitely getting experience and he's trying to make his way on the team. There goes Kylie. Keeping a second, second place for Hopkinton. And after, who's finishing it for Hopkinton, honey? Uh, lane two, Jack Brennan. And lane lane four, four, Julia Altman. All right, let's go, Julia. And lane six, Emily Trudeau. Oh, good job, and Emily Trudeau, she's pulling, she's making headway there, making grounds. And the next event, just to give you guys a little forecast. Now I'd wait. Are we okay now to announce? Until they are out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lane two, Grace Cavanaugh. Lane four, Abby Fisher. And lane six, Lydia. No relation to Ben Franklin. <laughs> Good job, honey. And I think they might do some announcing. Oh. To see what the score is. Better one six. in lane two, Abby in lane four, and Lydia in lane six. Oh, this is going to be a tough race. All fast swimmers. Go. Let's see. 200 freestyle, eight lanes up and down the pool. Grace got out first on lane two for Hopkinton. There she goes. Grace has the lead from Hopkinton. Oh, we forgot. There she goes, Grace, in the lead. Next is Medfield, and then Abby, lane four, up, oh, and Lydia's giving her a run for her money. Come on, Lydia, let's go. Lydia in lane six. Let's go, Lyd. Lydia's a senior. Okay, midfield is up there right now with Hopkinton. Let's go, Grace. They're neck and neck, Hopkinton and midfield right now. This is the critical uh, 50. Got to get through this third 50. This is the toughest one, and then they're home. Let's go. Oh, neck and neck. Nice turn. Medfield pulled ahead, but Grace is still. Grace is fighting. Let's go, Grace. And right behind is Abby. Let's go. Midfield pulled ahead. She's just a short, right on the flip short turn. distance away. Let's see what she has for no her kick. No breath off the flip turn. Let's get Good some job. cheering going on. And right, down the stretch Grace they going. come. Grace is fighting her. Midfield, Grace, then Abby in lane four. And right behind Abby is Lydia. Fourth place. It looks like a Medfield one. Hopkinton 2 3 finish, 2 3 4 finish. Okay, Medfield plays first. Next is Grace. Then, then Abby, and then Lydia. And we might Good actually job, finish uh, ahead in the points on that one as Medfield takes up number five and they'll take number six. And we move on to the individual medley relay. In lane two, Emily Way. In lane four, Sam Richardson. In lane six, Jake 
Glover. Again, just to repeat, uh, Emily Way, lane two, Sam Richardson, lane four, and Jake the Snake Glover in lane, lane six. So this is the 200 IM, and I've been told by inside sources that, that lane three swims for Adirondack, and he is fast for Medfield. Oh, oh, false start night, on midfield. The buzzer didn't go off, so Stand we'll give him the mulligan. Yep. There they go. And they're off. And midfield's out in front. Did the fly. Got very long arms. And the fly, and then what's next after the fly? Backstroke and then breast. Backstroke, then. Breast and then finalize free. Breast and then free is last. Look at how he's got that beautiful rhythm going for the butterfly. And now the back. But he's got those long arms. And the school record, just for, for somebody to know, the school record for the I am is done by the famous Anthony De Benedetto in 2010, a Tufts future grad, 201.71. And let's see, so we have Medfield out in front, and then we have Hopkinton, we have Lane Four and Emily Way, pretty much. Who we have here? Can I see? Oh, we see have lane four. Uh, Emily Way in lane two, Sam Richardson in lane four, Sam Richardson. Jake the Snake Glover in lane six. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going to happen with the breaststroke. Four, That's you. usually where people pull out in the IM. And Sam Richardson's pulling out now. He's riding high in the water. Let's see his turn. Nice turn, he pulled out, and right behind him is Emily Way for Hopkinton. So, so far we have Medfield in first, second and third is Hopkinton, and fourth is Hopkinton, with Jake Glover in lane six, right behind Emily Way. And off they go to finish it off. I don't Freestyle. think he's gonna break the school record, though, at 201. Oh. The pool record for the school. And he finishes. 204 37. Very, very fast race for the Medfield swimmer as we watch Medfield take. Here comes Sam Richardson for second place, and then Emily Way Polk comes right behind him for third. And Jake Glover will be closing it in at fourth in lane six. And the school record for Good the job, IM is Hopkinton. By we got Victoria Fang, a 209. Two, three, and fourth place for the Hopkinton Hillers. Two, three, and four again. So two, three, and four. We salvaged a couple points in that particular race. And here comes Hopkinton. A few minutes? Okay. As we move on to the 53, in heat one, we have Olivia Hanrahan in lane two, Paul Richardson in lane four, and Austin Schofield in lane six. Okay, this is Olivia Hanrahan's specialty, I believe. She's a sprinter. Would you, would you? And uh, she's the captain, and would one you of the captains. Would you identify her as her initials, O-H? Yep, as an O. <laughs> no, or maybe she was born in the state of Ohio. Okay, that too. You are quite the creative one. Oh yeah, the father does photography. He's the photographer, is he on deck? 
I don't see him. And they're tabulating the totals. We're not sure what the running total is. Usually we get that from one of our moles on deck, but apparently that mole has been closed up or it's been compromised, one of the two. Or excised if you're a dermatologist. People are quiet. It looks like the, uh, the swimming um, judges are not in the early stages of their life. Let's put it that way. Coach King hasn't gone undefeated this late in the season in a long time. sure what they're waiting for. And they're back on the blocks. For those people who forgot, I'll read it to you again. Olivia in lane one, Paul in lane four, and Austin Scope. And they're off. Let's see, midfield looks like he got off the block the best. There he goes. Oh boy. Midfield's first. And second is Hopkinton in lane four. Austin's right on his tail. Oh, Austin's keeping right up there. And it's midfield, Hopkinton second, Hopkinton third, Hopkinton fifth. fifth. One and four for, for midfield. Eight points to eight points, that was a wash. In the next event, I'd like to thank Lynn Annenberg for her joining the announcement team tonight. She's replaced by a younger version of herself. That would be Nicole, better known as Nikki, the captain of the class of 2014-15, Annenberg. Say hello to the crowd tonight, Nikki. Hi. What's up next? Uh, the Heat 2, 50 free. Uh, lane 1, or excuse me, lane 2, Zach. Holbrow, lane four, Brad Canty, in lane six, Kelly Burke. <coughs> now, from your experience, Nick, the lane, the heat number two, what is the full purpose of Coach, kind, Coach King's mindset, just to get some uh, alternate swimmers <laughs> involved? Um, <coughs> well, Excuse me. Heat two, sometimes there's heat three if it's like, 100 free or 50 free. And those swimmers have a chance to also like improve their times, but they have a chance to also work their way up. I know Kenny Lowell started in heat two and then ended up in like top relay. So you can improve from the second heat. And they're doing pretty well. Looks like Brad Canty is uh, moving along pretty quickly along with Zach Holbrow. So it's a very competitive race. In lane, <coughs> excuse me. In heat three, Trevor Birkins in lane four, Leah Yenawine in lane two, and Paitlin Salyards in lane six. And they give a warm down to the other end and they'll wait. Again, Medfield seems like they have a number of top echelon swimmers in the front end, but Hopkinton's holding its own on the back end. And have, again, that, excuse me, <coughs> I seem to have a tickle in my throat. Hopkinton had that 13-0 diving, which is almost insurmountable if you compete the rest of the meet. And they're off on the blocks. 
Heat three, Leah Yenawine two, Trevor and Peyton in four and six respectively. Do you know why lately they've been doing the diving first? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you have any uh, insight not, on I that? don't know. It's a new thing this year. It seems like it's really productive because it doesn't break up the meat. It just, just gives the uh, individual swimmers a little bit more time to think as opposed to being in a groove and then having to stop for a half hour and then begin to warm up again. back after 10 minutes okay we're back on on planet earth again and lane two rachel zale of the zale jewelry family sean kelly in lane four and in lane six tiana mccann 100 butterfly that is four lengths of the pool 25 yards each with a butterfly and watch watch the individual in lane three it's almost not even going to be fair, Nick. He'll be at least 10 seconds ahead of everyone. That's your prediction? He'll go probably, I'll go with he goes a 54. I forgot to time him. His record's a 51, but he probably will go like a 54. Next person will probably go like a 104, if that. Well, we're hoping. We're hoping to get at least two, three, and five, it looks like. Every year, Medfield's our biggest in-league competitor. Have they ever beaten you guys in your four years? Not in my four years. The year before us, though. Oh, really? With when I was a freshman, thir we had 13 swimmers at this meet. There was no second heats. There was no anything. And the Legacies took over? Yep, I, got, I was a minute slower than everyone in the 500, but I had to swim it. Per the order of the famous Coach King? Yep. There he goes. Wow. All right, we need we need second, third, and we're probably going to be short on fourth. We're going to be second, third, and fifth, and that breaks down to we. It was a wash. It's a wash. Nobody wins that one, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody wins that one. Eight points apiece, it looks like, as we move on. Uh, and the last diver is completed. Excuse me, the last swimmer in lane one. And she gets a round of applause. 100 freestyle. It I'll time like. this one. Grace Calvin in lane two, Paul Richardson in lane four, and Austin Schofield in lane six. Out the gate. This is a key event here. We're not sure who's going to be in lane three, but it looks like another fast swimmer from Medfield. That's her second top swimmer. Who won the 50 for 8 too? Unofficially, Hopkinton 49. Medfield 45. And they are at the starting gate on the blocks and they're off again 100 freestyle we're looking at different competitors but again if we can pull out two three and four that would be very helpful to keep the cause going we're not really worried about one but in lane two in lane four in lane five excuse me lane six and lane two we're going two three and four and they're off 50, 50 plus yards to go. Lane six, it's up to Austin Schofield. He's got to take this one home. He's head to head. He is head to head. This is the key. He flips and he's off. 25 yards to go. He's got to push it out. This is a key play. Looks like he will. We'll get Medfield one, Hopkinton two, Hopkinton three. 
And he's going to lose. One and four. Again, two, three, and five. It's another wash. Two, three, and five. Eight points. Eight points for midfield. We're still he lost ahead. that key part right still there. Still ahead by four lengths. Uh, excuse me, four points. Lane uh, heat number two. We have Zachary Holbrow in lane two. Mallory, <coughs> excuse me, Mallory Pessoff in lane four. And Caitlin O'Connor in lane six. That was a key key point swing right there. Instead of breaking even, which we did, we could have picked up an extra few points, which, which would have gave us a cushion. But we're still in the lead by four unofficially. We have three heats and 100 free here. <coughs> Okay, they're off. They're on the starting blocks. Four lanes to the pool. Timed but unscored. Oh. One more heat to go. We have the aforementioned Kylie Salyard in lane two, Kaylee Kane in lane four, and Peyton Salyards in lane six. There seem to be some discrepancies by the the officials. They're not really in sync with the timers. And there's been a number of round tabling going on as they break and they're ready for the next heat. We gotta get these things moving along. We're sub sub zero freezing weather out there. A combination of pool, water, and sub zero freezing weather does not make for a good healthy kid. Make sure the kids are taking their vitamin C and salt tablets to keep their their energy level intact and they're off oh again lane one did that once before gotta wait for the buzzer four lanes to the pool Nick and the next one is 500 free, which you are a, a veteran of. You've competed it up and down the East Coast. What? Wasn't paying attention. You competed the 500 up and down the East Coast. I guess so. From Maine to Connecticut. That's it. I didn't make it to Florida. No? No. I believe one of your high school teammates and co-captain and close friend, B. Coffee, is training as we speak Wednesday Wednesday she'll be in the sunny state of Florida mm -hmm. FLA yep you see Mr. Bishop's here tonight to your left to my left tall man sitting down next to Julie Franklin yep principal Bishop's in attendance this evening biting his nails didn't bring the twins boy or girl or girl or boy a girl and a boy I think not necessary in that order. They're like two years old. 
Aren't they? Terrible twos. Come into Friday sometimes. Milford Friday? Yeah. All right, we move on to the uh, 500 freestyle. We have O'Hanrahan in lane two. Abby searching for Bobby Fisher in lane four. And the original Julia Gorgel in lane six. This is going to be one of the events that's going to be determining who's going to win. These girls have to show that they can do the 20 laps of the pool in a very consistent, stroke-free fashion with little breathing and get on their horse because their team needs them. They're only up by four points unofficially. And again, there's conferring going on with the officials. Not entirely sure what the substance of that conferring is, but they go back to the respective positions and they're ready to get on the blocks and do sure the 20 lanes of the pool. Pretty sure this official's name is Arthur. It's on the back nine. Is he an aardvark, I like guess, in the PBS, Arthur? No. It's like Dick Clark. Getting old. This is a key, key event, very key. Coach King is up and down, up and down, looking at each individual. He's watching, he's dictating, he's cajoling, he's teaching. He's doing everything but swimming the lengths of the pool for the kids. Nick, as an experienced four-year Hopkinton letterman, what was your uh, feelings of Coach King looking down upon you? Did you ever hear him? during the course of the event? No, you got the thumbs up or you got the, the fingers pointing to go faster. That was the code? That was the code, and if you didn't listen, you didn't listen. It's just five minutes you have to get through. And it looks like Olivia Hanrahan and uh, Abby Fisher are, are doing quite well. It's that 300, 400 mark where your body just shuts down. And you just do it out of sheer desire and, and pleasure or sheer uh, will? I don't know. No relation to Abby. Abby swims at Campbell these days. She does? Yep. Campbell, I believe that is a... Campbell University. She left Elms. She's gone from Elms? She, she She's did. out of the state of Massachusetts. She made her mark at Elms? I guess so. Did she swim two years at uh, Hopkinton High School? Senior only. She was just a senior? Showed up and left? Yep. Again, if... If we can place one and two, that would make Coach very, very, very happy. He's walking around. He's looking. He's looking for somebody to coach, but nobody is. Nobody. He's not getting the visual. He's, he's going to give the pointing fingers to Olivia hand to him. But we're still far from uh, any determination. We're only in lane lap, lap seven. We have 13 laps to go. But it looks like some of the other individuals from Medfield are struggling. So if Hopkinton can win this event, it would put them in a solid position and then it would come down to the last 400 yard event. Hanrahan's got to push away. She's got to push and he's giving the thumbs up. And uh, Streamline. He's asking the streamline. Now bear in mind, Nick, they haven't tapered yet. They haven't shaved their legs. They haven't done anything that would require more. They don't have the fast skins on. So this is just a mid-season meet where he's asking them to reach deep inside of themselves to make it work. It looks like Abby Fisher's up to the challenge. Hopefully Olivia Hanrahan is not far behind. <coughs> and Hanrahan's lapped the individual from And Julia Gorgel is steadily going along in lane six. If Julia Gorgel can take a fourth place finish, that would give Hopkinton a nice little cushion. They would get one, two, and four, which would be 12 points to the four points, and that would give a 12-point lead. Not insurmountable, but definitely a hard obstacle to overcome. Medfield didn't put anyone in lane one, so everyone in this race will be gaining at least one point. That is correct. Uh, not too many uh, competitors like the 500. Takes a lot out of your body. You do it for the good of the team, unless you're really, really 
one of your long marathon type individuals. Coach King always took credit in, in uh, announcing that the 500 yard people were an integral part of the team. I always I had to do the 500, then swim the four free relay right after. Walk in a park. Spencer and Franklin once attempted to do the four free relay, the 100 back, the 100 breasts, and the last relay for giggles. I don't know why. But and did Spencer have a good appetite? Spencer could eat three things at Chipotle. And Olivia Hanran is pulling away in lane and lap 15. So we're we're down to five to go. Evan Bishop, uh, Principal Evan Bishop, is in the in the house tonight. If you get a chance, congratulate him on a job well done throughout the circles. Bell, I didn't. The bell hasn't gone off yet. It's well, coming soon. Well, this is her last. No, she's she's done after this one, Abby Fisher. Well, we haven't heard the buzzer. No, you ring the bell right before. Well, or you can ring it there. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be before the last 50. Yes. Before the last 50. That's okay. We'll give we'll give him. Here he goes. He wins. So how we get it gets one and two on this one. Looks like one, two, and four, all things considered. And we move on. <laughs> we move on to the 200 freestyle. Did you ever compete in that, Nick? Relay? Yeah, I said I used to do the 500, then the two free relay right after. You did? But the what last leg. Were you? leg. You, were the, you were the number four? Yeah. Good for you. Suck it up. Did you take a swig of Gatorade in between? Now sometimes threw up in between. That a girl. Mom's cooking. Oh, there! Look at Julia Gorgel. Oh, I didn't. Know, I didn't know that. It's okay. I thought it was a photo finish. No photo finish here. We're just waiting for the med medfield. As we go on to the 200 freestyle, it looks like Hopkinton picked up a quiet eight points. Unofficially, they have a 12-point lead. Grace. Excuse me, lane two, Sean Kelly, Rachel Zale, Austin Schofield, Aaron Howe. In lane four, Grace Kavanaugh, Sam Richardson, Jake Glover, and Paul Richardson. And in lane six, Brad Canty, Justin Buffard, Mallory Peshoff, and the aforementioned captain, Emily Schmidt. Does Aaron Howe swim all the relays these days? Aaron Howell is a jack of all trades and a master of none. Gets third in diving and then swims. He's, a, he's an integral part of the boys and girls team. Going to Wheaton College. The Lions. Is he a four-year swimmer, four-year diver? I, I think three. And how many words have you said to him in four years? Not too many? No, like over 100. That a boy. He's a nice kid. He's a nice kid? Yeah. His parents are nice. I can't speak for the kid, but the parents are nice. They're active members of the Hopkinton swim and diving community, taking photos and videos, having spaggers. And we're just waiting on the 200 freestyle. Again, if Hopkinton can just take a second and third, that would be very helpful because what that will allow a two-point loss, but they need it's imperative that they take a they take a second and third in this in this uh, 200 freestyle. They need to go 50 free back and forth up the pool, 
each individual has to give its all, his or her all. I think this official, he's having some issues. And they're off. Again, don't look uh, as the, our trusted videographer. We're not worried about lane three. We're going we're gonna to concede lane three as long as we can get two and four to, to do what they need to do. Two, four, and six, but only the first three uh, competitors on the relay are pointed out. I think we're going to be okay, but I, it's it's a little closer than I'd like in lane two versus is that lane five. Jake Glover, did you say? Uh, or is that a Richardson? Now that's Richardson. Jake Glover. And in lane two, it's Austin Schofield has to do what he needs to do. And to close it out in lane two is Aaron Howe, and to close it out in lane four is Paul Richardson of the Richardson fame family. Oh, look at Aaron Howe go. It's gonna be close. It may be, it may be too quick, but he's gonna catch, he's gonna attempt to catch her. Too, too far of a lead. She's doing the windmill. Well, we got one and three. <coughs> one and three. That's almost insurmountable now, the lead. We pick up 10 points of their four, and we had a 12-point lead. So now we have about a 16-point lead. And, um, again, lane... Uh, heat two, lane two, Ashley Pearson, Sarah Sh Shussel, Megan Halloran, and Shane Horseman. In lane four, Julia Altman, Stephanie Capellas, Maggie Miller, and Kyle Hall. And in lane six, Kelly Burke, Jack Brennan, Connor Murchie, and scratch for Sarah King is Kylie Salyards taking up the rain. Number six in lane and I don't know if if you were to clean this up, but we have three more events to go with Hoppington with a 12-point lead, I believe, or a 16-point lead, somewhere in that range. And they're off. Two lengths of the pool, each individual, 200 yards, getting the experience that they deserve. Competing at the highest level in the best swimming league in the state, the TVLs, known as the Tri-Valley League. You know why they're called the Tri-Valley League, Nick? Why? I would, one is to presume that it's three different counties, Norfolk, Middlesex, and Worcester. That's Wait, Ashland is part of Middlesex. Hawkington, Middlesex, Medfield, Norfolk, DS, Middlesex, uh, Norden, maybe Bristol, Bristol, and then Holliston, Medway, Middlesex, and Norfolk. So it's three <coughs> or four. Three counties, Middlesex, Norfolk, and Bristol, I think. <laughs> Who's waving? I think Mr. Franklin's blowing kisses. There's a relationship between Lissy Annenberg and Lydia Franklin. And Maddie Stouse. And Jack Matt. 
real name Jonathan McDonald? I guess so. You ever meet him? Irish Catholic. Fair to presume. And they're competing. Uh, I believe this is the final la leg. Shane in lane two, Kyle in lane four, and Kylie Salyards in lane six. as they complete a valiant effort by all the Hopkinton swimmers. We move on to the backstroke. Emily Wei, excuse me, Young Jun Kim in lane two, Emily Wei in lane four, and Julia Pillarella in lane six. Those are the competitors for the 100 backstroke. Now that's four lanes of the pool. As you will notice, you see the banners, and the banners give you a a really a balance. Stroke count. A stroke count of how close you are to the wall so you can do your flip turn. The average between like three and seven, depending on your... Length of your body? Yeah, and how hard you pull. And who is the best backstroker you've ever seen, boy or girl? Paul Agassi, probably. Is he a record holder? I believe so. Let's see what we have here. We have Vicky Fang did 100.13, mm -hmm. and Anthony DiBenedetto did a 55.27. But I never saw him swim. 2010, that's pre-Nicky. Yeah, he didn't do it senior year. You competed with him at Westboro? Back in the day. He's an engineer? No, liberal arts. Looks like one, two, and three. Wow. So I don't think Coach King is worried about who's going to win this meet anymore with a placement of 13 extra points. As we go on to the last two events, Hundred breaststroke, Sam Cody in lane two, Sam Richardson in lane four, and Lydia Franklin in lane six as we complete the last individual event and we go on to the final event of the evening, the four hundred freestyle relay.
again, uh, Medway, uh, excuse me, Medfield doesn't have a, a huge team, so they don't have a lot of swimmers that can pick up one and two points in third and fourth place in multiple events. And that's been the cause and effect all year long with regard to the Hopkinton faithful. They've taken up points, second, third, and fourth. They may not have the star swimmers this year, but they have a very consistent back of the line swimmers, which is allowing them to stay in tight and then take it over at the end. Last event of the evening, after we find the final swimmer for the Medfield team, as he gets a round of applause, is uh, in lane two, Jake Glover, Tiana McCann, Trevor Perkins, and Emily Way. In lane four, Grace, Abby, Sean, and Olivia. And in lane six, Brad, Justin, Buffard, Brad Canty, Emily Schmidt, and Logan, Salyards. Again, Jake Glover, Tiana McCann, Trevor Perkins, and Emily Way, Grace Cavanaugh in lane four, Abby Fisher, Sean Kelly, and Olivia Hanrahan to follow them, and Brad Canty, Justin Buffard, Emily Schmidt, and Logan Salyards to complete another victory for the individual team. And Nick, as a veteran of the Hopkinton swim program, mm -hmm. tell me how it's determined of what the uh, final cheer is where did it come from that it just is it up up and down the pool is it potato chip potato chip what, what, what's the final analysis on that captains decide that day captains decide that day or that spontaneous second. doesn't get much thought it just happens it just happens once in a while they'll throw in a different type of cheer but really it's the same four cheers all over again Thank you, and we'd also like to thank the timers, the deck people, the officials, the videographer, the photograph, photographer, Coach King. And we're missing Jim Brainard. We're not really sure where Coach Jim is, but we hope he's doing okay, and we wish him a happy new year. Again, this is four laps of the pool, each individual. Uh, I anticipate that Medfield will win this event, but it's sort of... They put all their star summers in this one, it's, Medfield. It's sort of immaterial at this point because uh, Medfield uh, is second place in this, in this uh, team. Swim meet. Medfield has taken a commanding lead. Uh, two body lengths at least to the Hopkinton swimmers. And I believe, Nikki, you have a 400 freestyle record. Well, we've broken any day now. I don't know about that. It may not be broken for some time, but we'll... Till postseason? Your name will still be intact. Hopkinton takes the lead at this point. But Medfield saving their best swimmer for last. Jeez. 
He's good. She's only a sophomore. And Hopkinton comes in second place. And looks Third. like. And third place. And they are done for the evening once the Medfield individual completes it. You'll get the obligatory handshakes. Congratulations by both teams. The final score and the last of the Mohegans. as they exchange high fives and different uh, things. Here comes the Hopkinton faithful with the spontaneous cheer. Bunch, bunch, yay do you think when you run your five bunch? Medfield, Medfield, yay Medfield. And this is Ross Annenberg signing out for Nicole Annenberg, freshman at UMass, former four-time letter person at Hopkinton High School and co-captain with Bridget, Brianna, Renee, and Jennifer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>